Good, Daddy. Good. What's poppin', man? How you feeling? I'm chilling. I'm cool. How you? Cool, cool. You little, you up a little late for uh, Uncle Dez, you feel me? What's going on? Yeah, yeah man. Nah, I'm up, man. I've been moving around, man, just working and, you know, trying to, you know, figure out the next move, bro. So I was just like, I had did the podcast early, uh, a little earlier today, and oh, then man. I was like, <clears throat> you know, I moved into my new spot, so I've been like trying to get shit all situated or whatever. So it hit me like, oh, shit, let me call Dex back, you know what I mean, before I forget. I ain't want you to think I... I forgot about you, so. Nah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Congrats on a new place, man. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, appreciate that's it. That's the dupe. That's the dupli, right? The dupli. Yeah. 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 That's what's good, man. I know. I know you're feeling excited about that. Yeah, man. I'm happy. I'm happy. That's what's good. That's good. Well, let's talk about this party, man. First off, I just want to uh, eliminate the duplicators. Uh, this is only success success because people showed up for you. You know what I mean? Uh, and word, I, I, word. I don't really think people understand that. Like, like people showed up and showed out for you. I kind of wanted to go over the formula that I, you know, diagnose. You know, they call it, they don't call me Dexter for no reason. I got a laboratory, man. So I'm trying to <laughs> break down this formula. Uh, so first part, uh, I don't think people understood what the first part of the party was. I thought that, I, I thought that was going to be in totality, you know, the, the beginning of the party. I thought it was just the pregame. Uh-huh. I mean, I thought it was just the party, but it was a pregame. Super clutch. What? Early time setting to set the mood for the rest of the night. That's what I felt from it. That's part one. Part two, mm-hmm. every day, everybody there was essentially family in some shape or form. Extremely peaceful environment. We, we didn't have no drama. Mm-hmm. Um, part three, the after party at XO just topped it off. It was almost like a must go. You like af- After you spent a little bit of time at that place, uh, it was like, yo, we got to go now. Uh, the, the mood was set. It's time to go to XO no matter who you were. And it was mm-hmm. invite only. So it gave a feeling of exclusivity. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, and then not only that, it was your birthday on top of all of that. So there was just a, it was a just cause to come out. It was a valid reason uh, because people, you know, my people's having a birthday. I got to show up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, it was, was that pretty much the vision and in, in the whole plan that you had set up based off of what I just came through when I broke it down? Uh, sort of, kind of. Um, so originally, um, I really can't tell the story without telling the whole story, right? So, right. Originally, I wasn't gonna have. I wasn't gonna do a party at all. Originally, um, I don't know for some for, for some reason for my birthday, I, I never really like celebrated like that. You know, me but me being uh, born in January, usually like the last couple of years, like the weather be real bad. Um, you know, it's it's just it don't really work here in Ohio. You know what I'm saying? So I never really try to do nothing for my birthday, or or even if I do do something for my birthday, it really be like. My friends making something happen. So, uh, shout out, shout out to Sarah C, the real MVP man. Um, that's 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 my baby. She the, she the one that even made me do a party because she was like, "There's what you doing for your birthday." This was November. I'm like, man, you know, I ain't doing shit. She like, no, Dez, you don't never want to celebrate your birthday. You always show up for everybody else. You got to do something for your birthday. So, originally when I when I booked. Brick Studio, it was really supposed to be super duper intimate. It wasn't even supposed to be that. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to promote it. I mean, I, I mean, well, I really didn't promote Brick Studio to begin with. But anyway, it wasn't going to be what it was, right? So right. it was supposed to be like a super just, a super kickback for just me, the family, the people I messed with, whatever, right? So I had booked, so the venue was booked in like in November. And then um, after we booked it, um, I was just at work one day, and uh, my homie Josh, who do, who do graphic and design for uh, for for So Classics and Canvas, um, I had I had took some pictures for So Classics for the uh, for the Marnie and Carhartt collab that we had in store. So he had took one of those pictures the day I took. He had took one of the pictures that I took the day I took those pictures, right? And he had made that album cover. He like, man, you look like a rapper, <laughs> and that was the, the the front cover, right? Right. And so I had so I had that I've had that since. Last spring, last spring, last summer, I've had that picture, but I never did anything with it. So when I booked the party, I was just at work one day, and I was like, you know what? I'm about to fuck around on the internet, get this bullshit, right? So I uploaded the picture, and then I made all those, like, fake album, fake title tracks for an album on the spot, like, in the caption, right? Right. And when I did that, like, it just caught fire, so, like, everybody was just fucking with it. Like, people really thought I had, like, a, a CD coming out, you know what I mean? And then people was, like, giving me uh, bonus tracks and shit. Like, people was just fucking with the concept. So I'm like, oh, shit, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, 
well, fuck it. I'm just going to run with it and, like, use this as a theme for my party. And then my homie Trav Dave hit me up. And he was like, man, Dez, if you're going to do this, you might as well do it. So he was like, man, you might as well, uh, like, make it, a, like, actually, like, buy CD cases and make it, like, a real CD and put a blank disc in there and say, but it's so big, I could probably sell a blank disc. I'm like, oh, that's genius. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hand out the CDs as, like, flyers. So it was like a, a flyer to the party. But the beautiful thing about it is you still didn't know, like, unless I gave you the information, I didn't, I never put an address on anything, like, on social media or on the, the CDs. Like, there's no way you knew anything about the party unless somebody told you that I told about the party. You feel me, Dex? Mm-hmm. Right, so, yeah. Um, so I just used it as the rollout. So I just kept promoting it, but people... Nobody really knew what it was. Like people was like, "Okay, is Dez dropping a CD? Like, is he like what's going on?" So that was kind of like the beautiful thing about it is, it's like you knew I had something going on the twenty eighth, but you really didn't know what unless I told you. And so um, we, I just kept running with the theme, and um, you know, I was handing out the CD. It didn't, the, the CD thing didn't quite go all the way like I wanted it to. I really was trying to get all the CDs out before the party and have people like post them and like to help participate. You know, to help create the buzz for the party but it still worked out in my favor because at the party you know you see me there passing out the fly you know passing out the seeds and signing and shit yeah, so i, I thought that was love I, I ended up getting yeah, one yeah. yeah i thought that was love to have it at the party for sure you definitely had to have some yeah, extra yeah. so yeah so that so it worked out like that and then like the after party thing shout out to my nigga rail so rail set that up um because originally it was just supposed to be the party at big studio and that was it you know because i'm like look i'm not I'm not trying to spend no more. You know what I mean? I, you know, nobody helped me with that party, and that, and that's cool. I didn't, I didn't want no help, but I'm like, I'm not trying to spend no more money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, I spent enough money. I'm, I, I'm, I'm giving people a vibe. Like, whatever happens after that, like, y'all got to figure it out. So real, like, nah, man, we can't just end the night at eight. Like, we gotta have some type of function. So he like, all right, don't worry about it. Like, I'll set something up. So I'm not thinking nothing else about it. So then he hits me up, like, yo, I gotta, you know, um, after that. We're gonna we're gonna be able to do something at the front room at XO. I'm like, cool. Like if we ain't gotta pay for it, cool, no bicker. Like, let's let's get let's you know, let's get it. So they gave us uh like a um an invite code. They gave they gave us like two hundred free tickets and, and those bitches went went <laughs> the free tickets was gone in an hour. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So <laughs> so, you know, and then it was just, you know, and so that was like really the basis of it and then you know it was just a beautiful experience man i'm glad everybody that came out for the most part everybody that i invited came out there was quite a few people that was crying about not getting invites and i gave them the information to the party and they didn't come so that is what it is with that but um i'm just i'm just happy everybody came man like people flew in from out of town uh my my brother sharif who, who no longer lives here he's in maryland he came in my homegirl yabo and my best friend jordy they in new york they came in my mom and dad came to the party, and I normally don't invite them to, like, my party just because of, like, everything that be going on, but my mom and dad, like, had a ball, so it was just, um, it was just a beautiful night, Dex, man, it, it was just nothing but love, like you said, man, but, but as the night was going on, well, building up to the party, really, my thing with the party was, like, as, as, as it was going on, um, I purposely didn't really want to do nothing at a club, I mean, even though we had the after party at XO, but... Essentially, like I really didn't want to do deal nothing. I didn't want to do nothing with no clubs because, you know, for, I mean, for for damn near two decades, man, like I've made so much money for everybody else. You right. feel me? And I've never really, I've never really got my just due. Or like, you know, I've you know I've shown so much love over the years, and then when I feel like it's time to get the love in return, not saying that I do it, not saying that I do the things that I do for that, but. You would just think like, yo, Dad, you've done so much over the years. You know, people will show that love back. But, I mean, you know how it is, man. You, you, I mean, you know how it is, bro. So yeah, my whole thing was like, look, I'm going to show people that you can create a vibe. You don't need the club. You don't need the sections. You don't You don't need that shit. Like, if the right person creates the right vibe and you put the right people in, in the building, you can you can have a good time anywhere. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? Like, right. you, don't, you don't need those establishments have a good time you feel me and so um really i feel like my proof of concept worked um so it, it's definitely it's definitely got my my gears uh working now and you know i'm not i want to be clear i'm not trying to be a party promoter i'm not trying to do 
monthly parties or nothing like that. But I definitely got some more stuff in the works. And I'm really just happy that I went ahead and followed through with something that I wanted to do. For so many years, you know, I've had concepts, I've had ideas, and I've either never really, like, pushed the button to execute it or I've been trying to force my ideas on others. So that they can help you out with it. Yeah, so it either don't go as planned or, you know, somehow, some way it don't happen at all. So I'm glad that I stuck to my guns. I didn't bring nobody in. I, I, I did it how I wanted to do it and, you know, really just took the rest with me. So that was what it, really one of my biggest things, you know, coming into 2024, man, is, is really like betting on myself this year, bro, and really just going for broke for myself, you feel me? Because it's just like I just feel like over – over these years, man, I've done so much for everybody else, but I never really given my same. I never really given myself that same chance and that same love. You feel me? If that makes sense. No, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, man. I definitely understand. It's a clip that I got right now. Um, I think you doing your duplex thing uh, kind of gave you the influence to start jumping. But I got this clip where you you got to jump, man. No matter what's gonna happen, if you fail, you learn from it. You win, you learn from it. Regardless, you you know you you got to jump at all times. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like we're going to be 50 years old and never jump. You're going to be sitting right, right there on the stoop. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So I just wanted to give my, um, my, uh, my review to the party though. Um, some things and key points that I, um, I, I super like appreciated about it. Like you said, you, you said we could have fun. However we wanted to have fun. Uh, it doesn't have to be at a club. And like you said, you had, you wanted to get your just do, but boo, dude, you did, you did like a, a really good thing. Pause on the, on, I didn't mean to say boo. Uh, grown as fuck, though. <laughs> the party was grown as fuck, man. All the yeah, women, yeah. all the women in there were high quality. Everybody was fly. <laughs> you had the mixers, bro. What, what made you pull the mixers out there? Well, I mean, I just knew, I mean, with, with, <laughs> with me, with, with it being a BYOB, like, I just knew people was going to bring liquor and people wasn't going to think to have, you know, mixers. So mm-hmm. it's just like, I want to at least, you know, because everybody don't drink shots, everybody don't drink liquor straight. You right. know what I'm saying? So I did see shorties in there. I don't know. I, I know you know them, but they had uh, the little Migos bottles with the straw in it. That was gangster. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> My only issue is, yeah. man, our people, we got to show up on time, man. Everybody got there at 6 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I knew that was going to happen, bro. Um, it, it's crazy because, like, you know, in, in retrospect, I wish I would have booked. I wish I would have did the six to nine instead. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because everybody came at the last minute and didn't nobody want to get out. You know what I mean? But I get it because it was vibing so crazy. Like I didn't want to end, but I'm like, yo, like we gotta shut it down. I'm not trying to pay no extra fees. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we gotta leave at eight. You know what I mean? But um, shout out to Brick Studio too. Shout out, big big shout out to Brick Studio, um, black owned establishment. Um, they they were they were excited about the event. Like yeah. they knew everything about the event. They they welcomed me with open arms. Um, they uh, you know some of the things that I did that night. As, essentially, I was not supposed to do, but thank God that nobody did anything stupid and they, did, they didn't mess it up. They took care of the building. Um, so I, I definitely got to give a big big shout out to Big Studio for allowing me to use their space and um, for everybody for respecting the space. And, um, you know, they was happy with the event, too. You know, I, you know, even though they weren't there, but, you know, they've seen the images and stuff like that. And, um, you know, they hit me up on social media and, and was saying how they was, you know, they was happy to to uh, host the event. And so, so big shout out to Big Studio. For sure, Des, man. Well, I definitely really appreciate you, man. Uh, I don't really get invited to a lot of things. So to get invited to this was a uh, it definitely put a, a real soft spot in my heart, man. And I definitely appreciate you talking to me about it. Super proud of you for executing this event. And, um, you know, I'm super excited to see what you do in the future, man. Hey, man. Well, first of all, Dex, you know, you know, we go back, man. And, you know, uh, you know, I appreciate you for allowing me to come on your platform. Um, you know, when, when, when me and Jay Wood came through and, and actually it's so crazy because I feel like uh, a lot of stuff that we talked about with the nightlife on that, it, I feel like it resonated with that night, right? Oh, like, 100%. Like, I was thinking about that the whole time. Me? Yeah, it's just like, you know, so, you know, once again, like, uh, that was another thing too that kind of like, look, I talk about this all the time, like, you know, because that's the thing, right? As people, a lot of times we complain about, oh, it ain't nothing to do or it ain't this or ain't that, but but what are you doing to create the change? Facts. So I just had to really look myself in the mirror and say, look, okay, then it's like, you see all these, um, I don't want to say weak spots, let's say areas of opportunity. You see all this area of opportunity of what's going on in the city or what you feel like could 
kind of change on how the kick it goes, all right, create your own event instead of trying to like team up and collab and do shit with these other people yeah. where you know they're not going to really see the vision like you, like you see it, or they're not really going to be they're not really going to respect you how you feel like you need to be respected. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, a lot of this shit is a money grab. And like I said, it's no disrespect. I get it. Like, you know, people that own these establishments, these clubs, these bars and what may have you, it is a business and you're trying to make money. Cool. I, I, I'm not mad at you at that, uh, you know, at all. But, um, it, because essentially I want to make money too, but also too, I just feel like as consumers, we've been getting the short in the stick for a long time because, all the energy is, is, is pushed towards the money Facts. and it's not, it, there's nothing being cultivated for the consumer to even, for them to even appreciate spending a dollar. Right. So, yeah, um, you don't, you don't want to leave an event and feel like you wasted your bread. You know what I'm saying? You want to, absolutely. you wanted to spend all your bread and be like, it was worth it. You know? Yeah, I, absolutely. So it's just like, man, you know, I feel like everybody that came out that night, um, I've haven't heard any negative reviews. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. Everybody that, that was there, they said they had a fucking, a ball. And if it was so a I negative like, review, it was it was hating, bro. That's all. That's all <laughs> you can. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so, so I feel like I've I've accomplished my goal. You know, but you know, with part one, it was really with this. You know, it, it really was like proof of concept. I really wanted to show, like, okay, this is my vision. Let me let me kick it off and let me see if I can execute. And and, and I executed. I, I feel like it exceeded expectations. And so now, um, it's just going forth. You know, I kind of know what to do with. Um, things that I want to do in the future. Um, I definitely want to do something. To, I, I'm definitely going to do a part two of this in the summer. I'm not necessarily, I don't necessarily know where I want to do it at, right. um, but we're definitely going to do a part two of this in the summer. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to do some other, other things in the midst of that. But I do want to be clear. I am not trying to be a party promoter. So, like, you know, I, I, you know. Man, you I ain't got to label yourself business. nothing, man. You just does, man. We making <laughs> shit happen. That's it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. So, so, um, so that's that, man. But yeah, but once again, Dex, man, you know, bro, like, you know, um, you know, come on, bro, we go way back, man. You, you know, you, <laughs> you've, uh, you, you know, you, you know, people, unless they was outside, we was outside, man. You know, you got a legacy in this nightlife shit too, man. And us, us connected again, I, I feel like it only makes sense for you to come out. And I, I knew that you would enjoy the night because I feel like, you know, we, we've had these discussions, right? And, I, and we're, we're in that in-between where it's just like, man, we want to kick it, but it's just like, I ain't trying to do the Bluetooth and Blazer shit, yeah. but I also ain't trying to be in there with the with the Pooh Shiesty mask. The, <laughs> no, in, 100%. In the, sweat, in the sweat pit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and the, uh, and the tight jeans that sag too low. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be comfortable, and, I, and, and like you said, I, you know, uh, I'm just glad that everybody dressed up. Everybody looked nice, even the fellas, man. Yeah. Even the fellas looked nice, man. And and that's and that's what I was trying to. I'm just glad people knew the assignment, man. Big shout out to the ladies too. The ladies came out in abundance, and they had so much fun. They had so much yeah. fun. So many ladies was just some, like, yeah. Right, there was some baddies out there. I see my whole Instagram come to life for real. Bro, <laughs> baddies, bro. And they like. You know, and the ladies appreciated me because they like, yeah, you had you had so many niggas in the building for it. So it was just like the ratio <laughs> was the ratio was right. Even though it was more women than men, yeah. which that's what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, you know, look, I know the niggas is going to show up. That's easy. <laughs> but I wanted the I wanted the women in the building. And um, I don't also know. Too, I don't know if you saw. I was in there getting active, boy. <laughs> listen, I, why not? That's what it was for. That's what it was. That's what it was supposed to be. Yes, for. sir. And also too. Big shout out to uh, my media squad, man. Shout out to my man TP. Shout out to my man uh, Rich Views, man. That was the, that was the photographer, the videographer. They made the event come to life, man. The recap video and the pictures. I had so many people hitting me up, like, "Yo, what did I miss? Like, how yeah. did I not know about this?" Like, Facts. And I'm like, you know, well, you know, I, I'll make sure you got the next one. So that was the blueprint that we set back in the day, but we just brought it to life with modern technology, bro, and. Well, you brought it back to life with modern technology, man, and you just you just laid it out, man. And and now yeah. now they can't miss them no more. They can't. Absolutely, they can't. And, and it was dope because this was like a true old school word of mouth party. It's right. Like if you this was a true this was a true if you know you know. Low key house party vibes. You know what I'm talking about? But Facts. like out in the streets. Facts. You know what I'm saying, and so and we got home um, in, in time to you know what I mean get some sleep. You know, <laughs> that's what, and, and and that was the thing with it being on a Sunday. Next one though, I'm not gonna do a Sunday. I yeah. wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it's like a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, but but um, 
yeah, man. You know, we listen, bro. I, you know, I, I got I got some shit in the chamber, man. So uh, I'm just glad everybody had fun. I'm glad you came, Dex, bro. I appreciate you. I'm glad you had a ball, bro, man. And um, you know, any anything you want to collab on, some more content, uh, whatever, man. I, I'm all for it because that's really that's really what I'm on this year, 2024, man. I, I really want to push push uh, Dan Darnell's content, man. Just really just really champion me, bro. You oh, know what I mean? Facts. So. Yeah, man. Like that's, I said, I think, I think, I think you deserve it, bro. I think, um, as as genuine as you've been to me, I, I can only imagine how how genuine you are to to the people that are even closer to you than I am. So I, I want to just, I just want to commend you as an individual that you know what I'm saying that you continue to do what you do and just be who you are. Like when you were talking earlier about how much you give and you don't get back in return, just know, man, that you know it, there's a special place for people like us that just give, 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 and we don't get in return. I'm honestly, we are gonna get it somewhere else. You know what I mean? And that's all that really matters. And you got it that night. You know what I mean? With all that yeah, love. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I, I definitely got that love uh, last night, man. And like I said, man, you know, I'm not trying to make this like a woe is me type of situation, nothing like that. Nah, you know? nah. But, but I, I feel but, you. I feel you 100. Yeah. percent No, I get but, you. But it was just like, you know what? Like, fuck it, bro. I, I'm, I'm betting on me, bro. Like, fuck trying to tap in with other people and trying to help you know try to have them make my vision come to life i'm about to just do me and, and i'm just going to just show the proof you feel me so, anywhere i can help just let me know you already know what it is yeah for sure, for <laughs> sure. all right boss well I definitely appreciate you for chopping in on the perception is key podcast this is a little bit different than what i usually do man but it feels good man and i appreciate you des oh no doubt no doubt man you know i'm always going to support you my guy man whatever you need me to pull back up to the show or do a call in whatever man just yeah. hit me up I'm season, gonna call away. season three coming soon man i just redecorated the whole spot man it's about to be live okay <laughs> okay let's get to it then all right